All right, number five story in the world of sports today. Derek Carr not expected to waive his no trade clause. The Las Vegas Raiders were looking to trade him to possibly the Nolan Saints, but going to be released most likely today before his guarantee of $40 million in contract monies for next year kicks in. So the Raiders and Derek Carr most likely to part ways. We knew that, but of course, I think it's good to hear that he's standing up for himself and not allowing the Raiders to just kick him around and say, you know what, Uh, we just want to trade you. Maybe we can give you your money, but we're going to give you to a crappy team. No, no, he's not going to allow that. So good for him, Derek Carr, nine seasons, six different head coaches, five different play callers going 63 and 79. I think all those coaches and play callers were a reason for that. Of course, the 36th pick out of Fresno State overall in 2014. 35,000 passing yards, just over that 217 touchdown passes. Where will he play next year? Where will Derek Carr play? I think New York is a legit option because they called Green Bay looking to see if Aaron Rodgers is available. So could, could the Packers go and let Aaron Rodgers go to the Jets? Eh, I think that's doubtful after they did that with Brett Favre. I honestly think it's more likely that Derek Carr is going to end up as a New York Jet. That's just my prediction. All right, the number four top story in the world of sports today. Zion Williamson re-aggravating his right hamstring injury. Reports say he's going to miss more time than expected originally after the All-Star break. Previously entered that right hamstring. They were looking at a possible uh, right after the All-Star break timetable for his return, but now it's multiple weeks past the All-Star break. He had been progressing in rehab, but... Uh, did not uh, get past three on three drills this last week. He was getting there. He was starting to get close to five on five, but not, not quite there. Although, thankfully, the Pelicans do have Brandon Ingram scored 25 or more in each of his last four games since returning from injury himself. And guys in New Orleans are definitely producing right now. So I, I don't think they're dealing with too, too many issues without Zion. They haven't expected much from him. They've got production from their other guys. CJ's still scoring 20 a game for them. So uh, I know that long-term, that money that they just signed him to is going to be a concern for a lot of fans. But, you know, this reminds me of the Greg Oden situation just without the contract that uh, Zion Williamson got from the Pelicans. It's just dealing with a young guy with injuries that's super, super talented and it's got a lot of potential. But can he get on the court? That's the ultimate question, and nobody can answer that. All right, number three, top story in the world of sports. Colts plan on hiring Eagles. Offensive coordinator Shane Steichen is their next head coach. Two sides still need to reach an agreement on that contract. He is scheduled to fly to Indianapolis this afternoon after suffering the loss as Eagles offensive coordinator yesterday in the Super Bowl. Frank Reich. New Panthers head coach going to be hiring Dom Capers and Josh McCown to the Panthers staff. Dom Capers going to be a senior defensive assistant. Josh McCown going to be the quarterback's coach. Of course, Capers was the first coach ever of the Houston Texans and has Super Bowl rings as a defensive coordinator with a couple of different teams, the Packers, and has also been a coordinator for the Dolphins, Jaguars, and Steelers. Of course, McCown was a backup quarterback in the NFL for quite a while serving as a high school coach in the area of course was brought up in connection with the Houston Texans job last year but did not ultimately get it before they gave it to Lovey Smith and then fired him this offseason so there you go some updates in the NFL head coaching world number two Gary Payton the second his trade from Portland to Golden State had to be held up over the weekend because of a failed physical and the major question here we'll get into this later in the Daily Sports Watch. Did the Blazers hide his injury while forcing him onto the court or not? We just, well, uh, we, we we deal with sources and anonymous quotes sometimes in the world of sports, and we're going to get into that and a very, very frustrating bit of news, I think, for the Portland Trail Blazers to have to deal with. All right, number one. Super Bowl 57, Kansas City beating Philadelphia in comeback fashion, 38-35. to Pat Mahomes throwing for three touchdowns, winning the Super Bowl MVP. Travis Kelsey had 81 yards and a touchdown, while Kadarius Toney and Sky Moore each caught a TD as well. Nick Bolton picking up a Jalen Hurts fumble, taking that into the end zone for a touchdown. On the defensive side of the ball, Jalen Hurts, I got to say, I can't forget to mention it. He also looked like a stud throwing for 304 yards and a touchdown. We're running for 70 yards and three touchdowns. Unfortunately, the difference maker ended up being his fumble in the second quarter right there. It's just that it's that's the big deal. Unfortunately, one of the only mistakes he made ended up being the game changing mistake and taking that back 
allowing Kansas City, and I, that's why I say it's the difference maker, allowing Kansas City to hang in there at that point of the game. Philadelphia really looked like they had their cleat on the throat of the Chiefs, and it just did not end up staying that way. But a very entertaining game regardless. Uh, people that I was watching with, my best friend, his wife, and my wife were all really enjoying it. Over 100 million people were expected to watch. It's almost one in every three people in the United States. Rihanna's halftime show, generally positively received, I think. And uh, hey, hey, she's pregnant again now. So congratulations to her and people figuring that out for the first time during the halftime show at Super Bowl 57. So pop culture coming together all as one there <laughs> in Super Bowl 57.